We want to have so many that we do have more than we need because we can send them to other great countries and other countries that have been our friends, and they'll never be able to do it themselves. Yeah, please. Some President. of the governors are not appreciative of, of what the federal government's done, and you've suggested that some of these governors are not doing everything they need to do, like that these governors are at fault. Can you be specific? What more in this time of well, a national Well, I think we've done a great job for the state of Washington, and I think the governor is a failed presidential candidate, as you know. He, he leveled out at zero. Uh, in the polls. Uh, he's constantly chirping, and I guess complaining would be a nice way of saying it. We're building hospitals. We've done a great job for the state of Washington. Uh, Michigan, all she does is she has no idea what's going on, and all she does is say, oh, it's the federal government's fault, and we've taken such great care of Michigan. You know the care we've taken of New Jersey. I think if you ask Governor Murphy of New Jersey, how are we doing, I think he'd say, great. I think. He's a Democrat. Governor Cuomo has really said we're really doing a great job. And I saw the news conference where he was thanking the people from FEMA, the people from Army Corps of Engineers this morning. I mean, they built a hospital like in three and a half days. And it's a big hospital in the Javits Center. And they're building medical facilities in different parts of New York. And Governor Cuomo's been appreciative. But, you know, a couple of people aren't. We have done a hell of a job. The federal government has really stepped up. Well, what I'm asking is, what more specifically do you want the governor of Washington? Uh, All I want them to do, very simple, I want them to be appreciative. I don't want them to say things that aren't true. I want them to be appreciative. We've done a great job. And I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about Mike Pence, the task force. I'm talking about FEMA. The Army Corps of Engineers, there's no country in the world could have done what the Army Corps of Engineers has done and is doing. Now they're going to the media. I think the media and, and governors should appreciate it. And I have to say, the media's been pretty good, and the governors have been really good, except for a couple. And with them, it's just political. How's Trump doing? Oh, well, I don't know. You know, let's blame. Because we have outside. done, we have done a job the likes of which nobody's seen. The words they're saying they're concerned about. I think they should be appreciative because you know what? When they're not appreciative to me, they're not appreciative to the Army Corps, they're not appreciative to FEMA. It's not right. These people are incredible. They're working 24 hours a day. Mike Pence, I mean, Mike Pence, I don't think he sleeps anymore. These, these are people that should be appreciated. He calls all the governors. I tell him, I mean, I'm a different type of person. I say, Mike, don't call the governor of Washington. You're wasting your time with him. Don't call the woman in Michigan. Well, it doesn't make any difference what happens. The governor of Washington? No, you know what I say? If they don't treat you right, I don't call. He's a different type of person. He'll call quietly anyway, okay? But he's done a great job. He should be appreciated for the job he's done. Yes, ma'am. Given that older Americans are advised to stay at home and avoid... We'll take one more question. The question, I want, I, I just, the question I was building up to is, is are you able to guarantee, to assure these states, these hospitals, that everybody who needs a ventilator will get a ventilator. So here's what I'll tell you. I think we're in really good shape. This is a pandemic, the likes of which nobody's seen before. Uh, I think we're in great shape. I think that, number one, we've distributed — ventilators a big deal. We've distributed vast numbers of ventilators, and we're prepared to do vast numbers. Uh, I think we're in great shape. I hope that's the case. I hope that we're going to have leftovers so we can help other people, other countries. Everybody who needs one will be able to get a ventilator. Uh, look, look, don't be a cutie pie, okay? You know, everyone who needs one. Nobody's ever done what we've done. Nobody's done anything like we've been able to do. And everything I took over was a mess. It was a broken country in so many ways, in so many ways other than this. We had a bad testing system. We had a bad stockpile system. We had nothing in the stockpile system. So I wouldn't tell me what you're tell what you know, like uh, being a wise guy. Go ahead. Before you go, could I ask you something that just popped on Wall Street Journal? It says, headline, the Trump administration plans to suspend the collection of import tariffs for three months, according to administration officials. True or not true? It's not even talk to me about it. Just more fake news, John. Look, not even talk to me. They're talking about the only one I've heard that from, like as an example, uh, China pays 25 percent interest on $250 billion worth of product that they send in. That's a lot. Everybody keeps saying, oh, are you going to suspend the tariffs? Well, the answer is no, but President Xi never even brought it up last night. It wasn't even discussed. It's fake news. Tell the Wall Street Journal. You know, the Wall Street Journal does a lot of fake news, too. It's pretty amazing. 